sick every day. It's our, we put this sick on everything. And if you can't see it, it ain't working. Meat, meat, and meat. You probably know Rich from Rich's Hot Rods. Maybe you don't, you're gonna know him real soon because now he is, now he is sick sauce. Sick barbecue, sick spice. We got three different flavors of spices, two different flavors of barbecue. We got Scott with sick pizza. So working on some stuff that's gonna happen at sick pizza with, you got what, wings coming out? So yeah, wings and wedges. By the time you see this, yeah. by the time you got this, wings are out. So order the <laughs> wings because they'll already be out with the sick barbecue sauce on them. So Rich perfecting it. So we got some, uh, we got some cooking going on today and basically rolling this stuff into it. Rich is actually gonna be at sick week with the sick barbecue chuck. You may know it formally as the mm -hmm. sick ice cream chuck, but the sick barbecue chuck will be out there. Still giving hot dogs, uh, but giving you some nice sauce to go on the hot dogs if you would like. Obviously ice cream, if you want sauce on the ice cream, or maybe you just want some spice, because this spice is, I put that sick on everything. So you eat it on an ice cream bar, we want your picture. So, thanks guys. Hey guys, Rich Pedraza with Sick Barbecue, and uh, we're out here trying new things. So uh, I got Scott with me from Sick Pizza Company. What's going on guys? But, uh, I have a uh, big plowing disc with uh, steel horseshoes welded onto it, and uh, it's just my barbecue walk. And so we're gonna prep the meat for that now and show you how I do that. I use a bunch of different meats, mix them all together, and uh, it comes out really killer. Basically cube everything and mix it all up. We'll season it with some every day. It'll, it'll help you improve anything you can do at home. You can uh, use it in your crock pot, in your oven, on your stove. It doesn't have to be barbecue, so just remember that. It, it's one of those things that uh, translates in all food. It's just, all right, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna cube this stuff into uh, just about one inch squares, but the seasonings will help bring all the flavors out. So we got boneless pork chops. Again, you wanna keep them somewhat small and uh, consistent across the different types of meat. That way they, uh, they all cook together. And because you will have different uh, safe temperatures between the pork and chicken versus the beef. You, you want, uh, this seems like it's a, gonna be a great dish for, if you're out camping or tailgating or something like that. Absolutely. You yep. Feed the masses. So those are boneless, skinless chicken thighs, which if you're in the store, sometimes those are in different spots, which I found out yesterday. Um, <laughs> did they hide them from you? They did, but uh, I know just from, from cooking a lot of chicken that um, they're, that's where you get the flavor is those thighs. And yeah, they, they absolutely. They so nice. Yep, and they tend not to dry out yeah. as much as the, uh, the breast do. This is the part that will probably get fast forwarded. All right, so we've got our four, <laughs> four meat groups here set up. We've got uh, the lean pork, got some lean steak, got chicken thighs, and we've got some sausage. Next part we'll do is get into mixing it all up and then seasoning it with our everyday and probably some tangy. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the sausage aside. I'll put that on the fire first to make sure it's all cooked since it's got and mixed components. We're mixing the, the three. All right, you wanna sprinkle some everyday on here? I'm gonna close second to the sweet onion. Awesome. All right, so we're gonna, with this one, we're just gonna throw some tangy in here. Wow, we'll Scott, mix it up. Awesome, we'll see you at the walk and see it. All right, let's get this bad boy started. That's not gonna work. Like I said, it's cold out here, it's 34 degrees, so let's bring out the big boy. That quick. All right, we got the onions on. We're gonna do a little bit of uh, sick every day. It's our, we put this sick on everything. And if you can't see it, it ain't working. All right, so we're out back doing a little cooking. We got uh, Rich from Sick Barbecue here, just uh, whipping up, uh, what do you call it, the wok meal? Yeah, we're gonna call it the barbecue wok. It's a big mock, it's a big wok. 
All right, like I said earlier, I wanted to do the sausage separate, just so we want to make sure that all of that is cooked and safe for our guests, right? Unless Aunt Edna's Edna's coming, then you may not want to separate the stuff and cook it separately. Just put it all on and eat it medium, medium rare. rare. <laughs> all right, you guys ready? Let's do it. Can't wait. Yeah, baby. We've got a building full of hungry people. Wow. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Meat, 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 and meat. Speaking of veggies. <laughs> veggie time. Sick veggies. What do we put on this? Tangy and some uh, every day. day. Yeah. Kind of looks like we've done this before, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, Thomas Hick Barbecue. So Scott and uh, Rich here, they took you through all the stuff with it. So that's on the walk. And you know what, the walk stuff, I mean, it's amazing. So if you want to impress your guests, this is the way to do it. Everybody will gobble it up. Uh, as you saw, plate's empty. So that's what you want as the end result of what you do. So get cooking, get out there, use our spices.